The pickup truck is a niche of electric vehicles that has not received adequate attention. Electric SUVs, sedans, compacts, and school buses are all readily available. However, the market for pickup vehicles is somewhat limited, but it's only for the interim since other automakers are developing their own pickup trucks that are powered by batteries. With its futuristic styling out of a sci-fi movie, Tesla's Cybertruck stands out amongst the competition, and its factory is without a doubt the envy of others in the automobile industry. What is all the fuss about, and where is this dynamic factory located? In this video, we take you inside the new $7 billion factory where Tesla will manufacture the Cybertruck. Without their logos, the majority of today's pickups appear to be the same. Tesla, however, is unafraid to stand apart from the crowd. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, stepping out of his comfort zone is what led to the development of the dynamic and daring Cybertruck, which was unveiled in 2019. According to Elon Musk, Blade Runner and the Lotus Esprit that James Bond drove in The Spy Who Loved Me, which was also a submarine, served as inspiration for the design of the Cybertruck. Instead of the body-on-frame structure that is typical of trucks, the Cybertruck uses unibody construction, which Tesla refers to as an exoskeleton, like most passenger cars, since a regular vehicle frame would interfere with the underfloor battery pack. It features exceptionally thick body panels made of cold-rolled stainless steel of the 30X series that are 3 mm one of an inch thick and cannot be stamped like typical vehicle parts. Only straight lines can be used to bend the panels, creating a very distinctive faceted shape that has been dubbed low poly or compared to origami. SpaceX, owned by Elon Musk as well, also employs this material on their Starship rocket because it more uniformly distributes stress and allows for more interior room. The outside panels of the Cybertruck were originally intended to be made out of titanium, but this was eventually replaced with stainless steel, which was created in-house by Tesla for added strength. Tesla's stated intention in creating the Cybertruck is to offer a sustainable energy alternative to the roughly 6,500 fossil fuel-powered trucks that are sold each day in the US. There are three models with EPA range estimates of 400 to 800 kilometers, 250 to 500 miles, and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour time estimates for 2.9 to 6.5 seconds, depending on the model. Rear-wheel drive RWD models of the car will start at a base price of $39,900, while all-wheel drive AWD vehicles will cost $49,900. It was originally planned for the dual-motor AWD and tri-motor AWD Cybertruck to go into production in late 2021, with the RWD model being released in late 2022. However, the production start date was delayed and it is now anticipated to happen in mid-2023. Its engine is similar to the 2019 and subsequent Raven Tesla Model S and Model X, which all include an inductive rear motor and the Model 3's permanent magnet motor in front. A single rear-wheel drive motor or a tri-motor system with one front and two rear motors are also options. Similar to other Tesla models, the Cybertruck can be bought with the full self-driving software upgrade, which raises the configuration's cost by an additional $10,000. However, despite its ugly appearance, pre-orders continue to pour in. More than 1 million orders have reportedly been placed for Tesla's electric pickup, despite the fact that the company has yet to produce a single model. In addition, the Cybertruck is enormous. How massive the Cybertruck is must be seen in person to be appreciated. Elon Musk has, however, suggested that a more compact model might be produced and sold in Europe. According to Tesla, the vehicle will have a payload capacity of up to 3,500 pounds and a maximum towing capacity of more than 14,000 pounds. With up to 16 inches of ground clearance, adjustable air suspension, a 35-degree approach angle, and a 28-degree departure angle, Tesla is positioning the Cybertruck to be a serious off-roading machine as well. Naturally, it has power outlets for both 110 and 240 volts, so you can plug in all your gadgets. In a tweet from March 2021, Elon Musk stated that owners of Cybertrucks would be able to plug in a tiny house or a towable camper to power the vehicle. This is made possible by the truck's two-way charging capability. The overall output will rise dramatically as a result. Tesla also has a new carbon-sleeved motor, a more powerful, more effective, and smaller electric motor. The Model S is already using it, making the sedan the fastest mass-produced vehicle. There is evidence to suspect the Cybertruck's electric motor has been updated to use the latest carbon-sheathed model. Other adjustments may seem modest, but they have an impact on how the truck functions regularly. 
For instance, a windscreen wiper was not present in the prototype that was made public. However, what would a car be without a windshield wiper? There were several rumors that Tesla would use a cutting-edge wiper system for the vehicle's production model. For example, a single-bladed folding wiper and a laser water removal device are among the more outlandish Tesla patents. Due to the massive surface area of the glass, the initial wiper that Tesla introduced was enormous. Furthermore, it was not even close to the exotic concepts that had been floated. It hung on the driver's side of the screen somewhat awkwardly. Later, even Elon Musk said that the upgraded wiper system is what bothers him most about the car. He added that although a deployable wiper system that could be stored in the trunk would be a fantastic option, it would be a highly complicated system. Because the Cybertruck is a utility vehicle, the use of highly sophisticated technology could be counterproductive. Tesla, on the other hand, appears to be experimenting with something quite practical for the truck, as evidenced by recent photographs of the Cybertruck. Actually, the single enormous wiper is made of two smaller, conventional-sized blades. The Internet Electric Vehicle community offered some encouraging feedback for this option. After all, the configuration makes it simple to swap out the Cybertruck's wipers as necessary. The fact that it's located on one side of the car also implies that owners won't have to jump on the tire and lean forward in order to access the pickup's wiper. Elon Musk grudgingly installed side mirrors as well. Elon Musk, on the other hand, has made it simple to remove the mirrors. Apparently, automobile owners can choose what happens to side mirrors even though automakers are required to include them. Another update to the Cybertruck may be on the horizon. The Cybertruck and Tesla Semi could have an 800-volt architecture if the manufacturer so chooses. Porsche, for example, has implemented this technique for the Taycan. With the addition of another practical feature, the Cybertruck has become even more useful. The Cybertruck Owners Club released a video of the vehicle's rear-wheel steering capabilities with the online newspaper Tesla Rati. It was possible to clearly see the Cybertruck's rear wheels moving in a very brief video of the vehicle that group member at Sandeep Dagala published online. The vehicle's modest speed when using its rear-wheel steering functionality suggests potential benefits the device could provide when parking or navigating in confined locations. The Cybertruck's rear-wheel steering capabilities were mentioned by Elon Musk last year on Twitter. The idea is that if you spin the steering wheel or yoke, the back wheels will also turn in the same direction as the front wheel. According to Elon Musk, this feature will allow the Cybertruck to make tight turns and do agile maneuvers. Considering the size of the Cybertruck, this was a smart decision by Tesla. Customers would very much welcome rear-wheel steering on a vehicle with a wheelbase that is longer than the Ford F-150. Where will Tesla manufacture the Cybertruck? The upcoming Gigafactory Texas in Austin, Texas will manufacture the electric truck. According to reports, the factory will be accessible to the general public and contain a boardwalk close to the Colorado River, Texas, and hiking and biking routes. At a spectacular ceremony called Cyber Rodeo, which was undoubtedly inspired by the Cybertruck, Elon Musk recently proclaimed the facility open. Because of this, the new Gigafactory will ease some of the pressure by increasing vehicle and battery output. The corporation is also building a new plant in Berlin, which, when joined with the existing one, will increase yearly production by the company to 2 million automobiles. We're really entering a new phase of Tesla's future with six giant factories, Elon Musk said at the Cyber Rodeo. The factory will also produce the Model Y in addition to the Cybertruck. Nearly a mile long, the plant is enormous. When viewed from the side, it surpasses the world-famous Burj Khalifa in terms of height. The new 4680 battery used by the Cybertruck will also be manufactured here. The steel required to build the Cybertruck's body requires a lot of brute force from Tesla. Tesla's Musk announced the Cybertruck's rear body casting would be manufactured using a first-of-its-kind 8,000-ton casting press. Giga Texas has now hosted the new press. There are numerous benefits to using these Giga Press machines, including a streamlined production process. It will considerably reduce the amount of parts Tesla deals with, saving both time and money. Additionally, it will enable structural batteries to be used in the vehicles, making them stronger. With Giga Texas, Tesla can consolidate all of its operations in one location. There are separate areas for stamping, bodywork, casting, painting, general assembly and battery installation. Elon Musk referred to it as the most advanced car factory the Earth has ever seen. The addressable market for full-size pickup trucks in the US is over 2 million vehicles annually. If the Tesla network of shared vehicles were to be made available in the United States and around the world, it has been proposed that the Cybertruck will be able to use it to generate an income stream. Let us know what features of the Cybertruck you enjoy the most in the comments section below.